in our present culture, we operate as a monetary system. We use money as a medium of exchange for work or services of any kind. When you use a money system, it creates incentives. This is true, but it also creates incentive for corruption and embezzlement. Whereas in the Venus Project, it's a non-money system. Now think about this. When we have a depression in any country of the world, there are still automobiles and vacuum cleaners and houses, but people don't have the money to buy them. The Earth is still the same place. What happened? Man designed a set of rules, and his rules operate. But if you live according to natural law, I'm not talking about man-made law, natural law. If you eat food that's bad for you, you get sick, no matter what you believe. If you don't get enough sleep, you collapse. That's natural law. In Venus Project, we uphold natural law mostly. So people learn how to live most effectively. The Venus Project is a non-monetary system, a resource-based economy. We have enough resources today in America alone and the world to build anything for anybody. There need not be street people, hungry people. We have all the technology to supply more than the needs for everyone. Fast. I'm not talking about 100 years from now. It would take 10 years to change the surface of the Earth to a second Garden of Eden, if we choose to do so. With the elimination of money, all the economic problems are gone. No more robbery, no more crime, because the center of the city has an access place where you can go in and check out a camera or a chemistry set, or a microscope, without any fee, without filling out any forms, without going before any committee. You see what I mean? It is available, just as the islands of the South Pacific were 60 years ago. The natives pulled bananas off the trees, they ate them, they picked guava and coconuts, and you couldn't sell a banana. And you couldn't sell sand or salt water. There was so much of it, so much fish, that no one bothered each other, they never worked. All they did is went out in their canoes, went fishing, scuba diving, had fun, and the Polynesians had no word for work. Did you know that? Isn't that fantastic? And I think we're headed that way. No word for work. You go back to school, art centers, music centers, cultural centers, you travel, scuba dive, think, write books, produce films, or whatever the hell you want to do. This is our aim. This is where we're going. If we don't make these changes, it's going to be a catastrophic, slow process of human suffering and misery, possibly winding up with some kind of dictatorship, which I have a tremendous fear of. So the Venus Project is, is designed to attempt to avoid that kind of problem. We want to translate what all religions talk about into a working process called the Venus Project. It is not a technical dictatorship. It is not 1984 or Brave New World. It is instead using the best of science and human technology to reclaim the Earth, to remove the radioactive materials we've dumped all over the place, and find a use for them, to do research and development in improving human relations and human systems. This is what the Venus Project is dedicated to. This is what it's about.